What if there was a computer so powerful it could solve problems in minutes that would take today's supercomputers years? A computer that leverages the strange, mind-bending rules of quantum physics. Welcome to the fascinating world of quantum computing, a technology with the potential to revolutionize everything we know about computing. But there's a catch. This technology requires us to control individual atoms at near absolute zero temperatures. Sounds easy, right? Well, it's a bit complicated. The journey of quantum computing begins with the development of quantum mechanics over a century ago. This branch of physics opened up intriguing possibilities for new technologies. By the mid 20th century, as both quantum physics and traditional computers advanced, people began to wonder, could we build a quantum computer? To understand how quantum computers work, let's compare them to the computers we use every day. Regular computers use something called bits to process and store information. Think of a bit as a tiny switch that can either be in the on position or the off position, like a light switch that can be either up or down. Unlike regular computers that use bits to process and store information, quantum computers use qubits. Let's explore two key quantum principles that set qubits apart from bits. The first principle is superposition. In the quantum world, tiny particles don't exist in a single state. Instead, they can exist in multiple states simultaneously. These particles known as qubits can be in both the on and off positions at the same time. The second principle is entanglement. This phenomenon occurs when particles become linked in such a way that the state of one particle directly influences the state of another, no matter the distance between them. When particles are entangled, their states are interconnected, allowing qubits to work together in ways that bits simply cannot. To put this into perspective, consider four regular bits. Each bit can be either on or off, resulting in 16 possible states. But four qubits can be in all 16 states at once. And with 20 qubits, a system can theoretically be in more than a million states simultaneously. Okay, if that sounded confusing, what does it all mean? Essentially, quantum computers can handle much more information and perform many operations at once with fewer qubits compared to bits. Sounds amazing, right? But there's a significant challenge. Achieving the quantum mechanical effects necessary for quantum computing is extremely difficult. Quantum systems need to be kept at exceptionally cold temperatures, often close to absolute zero or roughly minus 460 degrees Fahrenheit. Moreover, quantum computers are incredibly sensitive to disturbances. Even the smallest interference can disrupt the superposition and entanglement of qubits, essentially breaking the quantum state. Think about how careful you need to be with your laptop. Now multiply that sensitivity by orders of magnitude for quantum computers. These technical hurdles mean that widespread practical use of quantum computers is still likely decades away. Despite these challenges, progress is being made. Prototype quantum computing systems have been built and demonstrated. Quantum computing is still in its early days, but its potential is enormous. For more breakdowns of complex topics like this, consider subscribing to our channel and liking this video.